Hello, everyone. Got the food, and it's time for another edition of Try Hard Game with me, Roll Gage TV. I'll do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent and not a lot of time. Because guess what? I got 22 minutes until I start another raid. Because I love raids. That's what I'm doing. I ran into a captain. I could have done the raid on my own. Of course, it's raining now, and I don't have time. Oh well. I um I got some sea pickles. I uh, oh I I lifted this up because um maybe I should put something there. Anyway, I lifted this up because I I was cutting down a lot of wood. Um I don't even remember why. Anyway, I was cutting down a lot of wood and uh, used up my axe, so I decided to uh, go in the ocean. Not there. I went in the ocean to um do I, know, I have another one in here right yeah i actually have more there i'll just go there i uh, went in the ocean to kill some drowns went drown hunting to uh repair my axe and um attracted a bunch of dolphins that kind of got stuck over here so I felt uh, obligated to um, to help them get out, and so I I do eventually want to build a bridge there. That's the whole idea: build bridges over the rivers and build canals through the waterways, so I can get uh, every place by water, by land, and by water. I was collecting gold. Oh, that's why I was cutting down trees, to get apples, because I'm trying to make a whole bunch of golden apples. Because the plan is to hurry up and um, um, uh, what am I thinking? The plan is to uh, zombify some of my villagers and cure them to uh, get get credit. <laughs> to, to make them happier with me. And uh, then it'll lower the prices. But I might have to cure them as many as three times to get the prices as low as possible. Since I'm going to have 20-some villagers, it means I need a lot of golden apples and a lot of potions. So I was collecting potion stuff. I got all the eyes and mushrooms uh, I wanted. Am I in the right place? I must be in the right place, right? Yeah, that was the right place. So as soon as it starts, I will run to make sure that uh, I don't need my pick. I will put the second bucket of milk there. Oh, and of course, there's somebody here. What are you selling? If it's something I want, I'm going to be upset because I can't get it. No, I don't need any of that. Oh, wait, is that tropical fish? Bucket of tropical fish! I want that! Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to come back here and grab it. Because uh, that's how you breed, um... That's how you breed axolotls. And I'm not gonna get any axolotls right away, so I probably don't really need to care, but... Hopefully he'll be here for a little bit yet. Oh, and look! I got... I got, uh, emeralds right here. So I need at least two of those. But uh, I might as well get a few of them. Good. Two rounds of breeding. And uh, all right, let's go trigger this thing. I don't have a lot of... Uh... Actually, what I don't need is torches. I don't need that either. Okay, anytime. Uh, hello? Anytime, I'm in the village. Ah, oh, finally. Jeez, I was getting worried. Oh, yeah, the villagers are, like, all on this side of town now. There aren't any villagers in this side of town anymore.
Oh, let me switch to better food. Only marginally better food. Oh, hello. Okay, I am... Um, anything I want looting for, I'm gonna... Oh, you guys, really? I've never done one of these in the rain before. This is exciting, except it's nighttime now, so I can go ahead and sleep. Get rid of the rain, get rid of the uh, extra challenges of the night. I do have a couple bottles of honey, but uh, I still haven't looked up exactly how to mass produce it. So, But it's okay. I got a cow on lockdown. I got plenty of milk. Uh, I gotta get rid of these guys. Oh, wait. Good opportunity. Sharpen up my sword a little. The invisible there. Oh, you poor guy. Oh. Oh. Skeletons and everything. Okay. Yeah. Give me some. Oh, except these are going to be lousy arrows. Oh, I got regular arrows too, I guess. Uh, I got slowness. That wasn't good. For a second, I thought I heard. Uh... Oh, this guy's not burning. He's in armor. Oh, lots of armor. I'm going to put that away. I need to get, let the slowness wear off anyway. Don't necessarily want slowness and go onto a wave where there's uh, beasts attacking me. Well, already. Already tons of stuff. Good, I could use the, uh, oh, and I don't have my, oh, you know what, I want to, well, I want to get the right pick in place anyway. Um, yeah, I think I did this last time, I didn't bother with the infinity bow, I kept the mending bow, because the raid is not intensive enough, I get arrows back, it's not like facing the wither or the dragon or anything. All right, should be one more of these guys. Probably spawn near the other ones. Oh, hello, bunny. Wasn't sure I thought it was a piece of armor or something on the ground. Arr, you over here? I hear an R. You in here? No. Oh, there he is. I got my book. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you my plans for where to put the zombie. But I'm going to, uh, actually, maybe two zombies. One of these days, I'm going to have to... But yeah, I'll be getting all the books for one emerald apiece, and I'll be able to get trades for, like, six... Ah! Be, like, six emeralds for one... Or six sticks for one emerald or something like that. Okay, wave two. I don't remember what I got in wave two, but I'm not worried. The only thing that ever worries me are the beasts and the witches. The evokers don't worry me so much, and I got plenty of uh, milk. Um, and, uh,. The beast, you know, I got good enough armor. I can fire one or two hits. These guys don't worry me so much. I can usually take them down pretty pretty easily. Just gonna make sure I keep fed because this is not the greatest food. One of these days I'll have to make a pop up. Uh... Here's my cow. Hello, cow. Pop-up cow farm is what I was going to say. 
Then get beef. I got all kinds of little farmy busy things to do. But uh I got time. I want to repopulate some villagers over here. Transfer those over here, but then I'm going to... What I might end up doing, actually, is um, just find a zombie villager around my base. Go out at night with a couple of leather caps till I find a zombie villager. Throw him a cap. Then put him in a hole. Throw him a cap so he won't despawn. If he doesn't pick it up, I'll have to... I'll start to cure him or something. I'll figure something out. There you are. Ow! You hit me! You hit me twice! Oh, maybe this guy hit me. That's gonna put a ding in my armor until my mending heals it. Ah, oh, that's nice having mending. It's nice being at uh, practically late game stages here. All my armor and everything is together. Sounding like it's over here. Oh, it is over here. Look at that. I hope there isn't another one right behind me. I've never seen him spawn over there before, I don't think. Oh, boy, and I get to pick up another, um, another, uh, saddle. I don't have too many of those. Now let me go get that experience. It was hard killing all the zombies without hurting the um without hurting the dolphins, because they were really trying to help. All the drowned I mean when I went drown hunting to repair my axe. I did accidentally hit one ones. Fortunately, I didn't one-shot him. I would have felt terrible. These guys trying to help. One remaining. Okay, where is he? Okay, got a general idea. Yes, it's so routine to do these anymore. I've done a couple off stream, but I was near uh, the end of what I was doing. The only, the next thing for me to do is to come into town anyway. So I figured, well, I might as well fiddle, finish piddling around what I was doing and then uh, come start the, the uh, stream on this. Because after this, I'm going to end up, you know, I just saw you, where'd you go? There you are. Um, I'm going to go to the, I want to gather some, I think this is the witch raid wave. I want to gather some, um, rails. Because, uh, I'm going to use those for trapping the, oh, don't mind if I do. Use those for trapping the. Uh, zombies, I'll need to uh, zombify my villagers. In case you don't know, if you cure a zombie villager, he gives you a discount. The more you cure him, the more discount he gives you. So, to do that, you need golden apples and you need weakness potions. Oh my goodness! This is the first time I've gotten more than one book. Feather Falling 4, that's a good book. Yeah, that won't happen. Well, Curse of Binding with Knockback, that's fine. And uh, the other thing I really like about doing the raids is you get plenty of, um, well, you can get experience disenchanting stuff, but also you get plenty of firewood in terms of crossbows. Oh, I did get several more... Um, 
um, what are they called? Trident, tridents. With uh, when I was killing the, when I was repairing my axe. See, that's the per that's the reason to get axe. I kind of not thought about this. And then thought about this in two years. Took a long break from playing, but putting smite on the axe helps repair the axe. Because then you can run around killing drowns. Whoa, that's a witch. You know what? She's going to poison me anyway, so I might as well discharge her. Alright, can I get this one? Oh, she's in, uh... That her? Yep, that is. Oh, a cat just spawned right there. Oh, I'm, st I'm still waiting for a black cat. Oh, this is my opportunity. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, she was right in here. It's rare to get black cats in town, but it does happen. Ah! You gotta hit her before she throws her potion, and then she'll start throwing uh, health potions on herself. One mob remaining. I'll go sleep and uh, go refill my milk buckets. But uh, I don't have. I have. Uh, I do have a bit of a swamp, but there's no. Um. There's no, there was no witch hut there, so I can't find, I guarantee the black cat in the witch hut. But. I love black cats. My two real life cats are black. I, um, black cats are, uh, in the U.S. at least, they are, um, not adopted as readily as other cats. Some of it's superstition, but surprisingly enough, um, according to at least uh, Cat Fancy that I've read, one of the main reasons black cats aren't adopted as much is because adoption centers are usually can't afford really good lighting and stuff, and uh, it's hard to um, show off the beauty of a black cat. With uh, you know, poor lighting, their coat really shines, but you got to be able to bring out the shadows and stuff in it. The, you know, you can't figure it out. They're black. It's you know, if they're in the shadow, it's not you're not gonna be able to see the details of them that easily. Oh, I missed. Oh, I didn't drop off my stuff while I was there. Uh, let me go go do that. Ah, I thought I could make it, and I could, just barely. <laughs> oh, that's not what I'm doing here. I'm dropping off stuff. And refreshing my food. Okay, I see uh, one of the Vindicators. More arrows than I... Came in with. Usually carry around 60 arrows. <clears throat> is that a beast? Yes, it is. Can I make that shot from this far away? Not if he keeps moving, I can't. So, yeah, so I love black cats. I said said many times if I had the money I would start an all black cat adoption agency but uh, I don't have the money and uh, you know I don't have the uh, entrepreneurial skills either so <laughs> or the energy or patience to, to do that so you know it's a pipe dream I would pay someone to create a black cat <laughs> adoption agency Oh, uh, five's supposed to be enough for you. Not enough fire tricks. Uh, 
Oh, all right. Let that looting uh, take effect. I can get so many emeralds trading. Even even without the good prices, I can get so many emeralds trading. I'm hearing clicking, and I'm not sure if it's going across or not. I apologize if it is. Oh, I didn't see you there. I still have this bad habit of only scrolling in one direction. I have hotkeys I get hit, but there is the other one. Uh, oh, I'll never make that shot. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, now this guy is going to make it harder on me. Where is he? Oh, no. Don't you dare. Oh, he did. He dared. I think. Maybe, nope. Maybe that was his defensive jaws. No vexes. I don't see any vexes. Those guys have a long reach. You ever notice that? I got good uh, gunpowder from the witch, which is good, because it's hard to get gunpowder. I don't have, you know, a ready-made source. One mob remaining. We can go on to the next wave. Two waves left, maybe? i avoid all those snowballs if I can. Oof. Mm-hmm. Think it's a vindicator? It is. Oh, sir. All right. These trees refuse to grow anymore. Two of them grew, as you can tell from the... Oh, well, that's not going to grow if I don't put any... Uh... Oh. <laughs> I guess I have to <laughs> replace that. What happened there? Did I move it and not... It's awkward. Oh, well. But the trees have not been growing again. And uh, I've hit them with some bone meal, and they're not growing, so I don't know what the deal is. I decided to stop wasting my bone meal. This chest is getting filled up. Uh, yeah, I'll just go back this way. It'd actually be kind of fun if those trees grow. Get some obstacles over this way. They're not major obstacles, but... You know. The main obstacle, the main thing that makes this a good village to raid is the snow. Makes it hard to walk around. Yeah, I've completely lost track of the number of uh, waves, so. Oh, yeah, that was the first thing I should have checked, was to make sure that guy's. Um, make sure that that guy is safe. Sometimes I'll trade and I'll forget to raise the latch on him. And. The uh, trap door. Whatever it's called. When I'm not talking, it usually takes about half an hour to do these raids. Uh, 
The first one took me two hours. I was so scared. Since then, it's taken me about an hour on stream. But uh, maybe we'll get it in under, a ha under an hour this time. I think so. It's kind of, it can't be more than one or two. I think it's this w raid in one wave and one more. Unless this is the last one. Oh, he, he did it, didn't he? I just don't want him to do those vexes, because they're annoying. Because I'll get out. Make sure I pick up all this precious sugar cane. I'm trying to upgrade the one librarian to um, level two. I can't see, I've mentioned this before, I can't see how far the scroll bar is until it gets near the end, and then I can see the numbers. Because I have a stream overlay right there. So earlier today, I played an adventure map with some friends. It was a lot of fun. I like the adventure maps. Even though, uh... It was an adventure map that I paid for in the Bedrock Marketplace. The Marketplace is really... Really a terrible place. You really, it's buyer beware. You really don't know what you're going to get. Um, but, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a terrible place. It's The money goes, uh, at least some of the money goes to the creators. Uh, you know, a healthy percentage goes to the creators. And some organizations do make a living making Minecraft bedrock maps. So that's nice. But, um... It's, the problem is there's no way to preview them. In the old console version of the game, they also had maps you could buy, but you could uh, preview. You got, to, you got to play for, I don't know, however long. You couldn't save the game was the main thing. Um, so if you had like a, texture pack or something you could try out the texture pack but then you couldn't save your world in that texture pack unless you bought it but uh they the the minecraft bedrock marketplace they had they uh implemented optionally people that produce content could produce but it only worked for maps could produce a low a budget version that they would offer for free you know uh, like a a demo version, but now everybody does that. Most people don't do that because why would they? <laughs> if they can sell them, why would they offer a free? There's no incentive for them to make free versions. It's not policy to force force people to make demo versions. They're gonna they'll make sales. They don't have you know if they're lower quality maps. Anyway, why would they uh, why would they uh, risk not making money by having a demo version? <laughs> And even the better quality maps don't have demo versions because it's more effort than it's than it's worth. So, and they're not even together like in the same place. You know, you have to look it up. And it might be it might be an entirely different um, um, you know, it's a completely different listing. It's not like you go to the listing and they say, oh, download a demo version of this map. It's, so, it's not organized very well. It's been a pain. There's been a lot of complaints about the marketplace, and I guess Microsoft has no incentive to make it better, because, you know, they're, they're making money. And, uh... So, why would they change if they're making money? <laughs> The market is not uh, forcing them to change, so they're not changing. No, oh, I thought maybe I'd be full of goodies, but I'm not. So let's go get the rest of those uh, guys. This ah, I hear a witch. I hear a witch. This might be the last wave. Yep, the wave just started. I thought maybe it was. So this is the last wave. 
the wave with the witches and the evokers and all the bad stuff. Beasts. Oh, not that. Almost drank the milk. See if I can pick off this beast. If I can find him again. I lost track of him. I wanted to eat something. Ah, there he is. I will not count on him being going down in five or six for that matter. Oh, he's dancing on some flowers. That was not smart of you. Excuse me, I want to get, uh, I want to pick up this experience for my axe. Thank you very much. Okay. Now I can take care of you with the looting. Yeah, my axe is still low again. I had it completely healed when I did the drowned raiding, but then, um, there was a spot near my tree farm where there's... I think I saw found this on screen. It's near the edge of the map. I was wandering around. There's a... There's a, um, a ruin. A very small, boring ruin and a very small, boring... Um... um there, uh, pirate ship. Okay, who do I go after first? I think I'll go after this guy first. Oh, maybe I should go after the beast first. Yeah, this is not smart doing it this way. Not smart, not smart, not smart, not smart. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Definitely not smart. That was close. I almost used up one of my totems of undying. I would hate to do that. I only have like two dozen of them. <laughs> oh, you. See? Actually, I think bows and arrows are easier at these guys. Uh... And now I didn't get uh, extra... Goodies. No looting on her. Yeah, I was chasing down that evoker so he wouldn't do this, and then all of a sudden, um, I had a beast and a witch and all kinds of other stuff attacking me at the same time. Ah, I didn't want him to die that way. Oh, that was nice. Lucky shot. <laughs> I wanted to kill the beast out from under him and then, you know, get looting on him. But... All right. We have uh, one witch left, maybe. My chests are filling up. So many saddles. <laughs> I have so many saddles. I have two full double chests of saddles. I'm going to have to start a third double chest. And all my pigs have saddles on them. Oh, look. There's a llama from the... I would like to get the witch with, with looting in case she does drop uh, gunpowder. I'll get more. Oh, did I kill him with a bucket of milk? I guess I didn't get looting that time. Yeah, the axe, the, the diamond axe with smite five can take down a drown in two shots, which is, you know, the best you could do uh, even with the sharpness five or, or sharpness five swords. So. so the smite is useful. 
Ah. Oh, now see, you guys are gonna try to get me in a bad spot again. I am rushing this a little bit, as you could tell, probably. And there's Vexes up there. I'm going to anticipate the Vex coming after me. Oh, he might have despawned. That would be nice. I'm going to fight in a right angle here. Separate the Evoker from the Vindicators. Oh, I don't want to get you by the bow and arrow. I want to looting you. Thank you. I want the emeralds because I'm greedy. <laughs> it's not like I don't have a infinite supply of emeralds with trading. All right, one left. Down a few hearts, but... Uh, Ah, I heard. I heard you. That should be it. Yay, Hero of the Village. And uh, the trading should be good. I want to take advantage. I think I have to not leave town, though. I actually think I have some sticks in here put away for just such an occasion. I don't need any books. So yeah, I'm gonna have like I don't know, I might have I might have something besides. I'll probably just have archers, the two um uh potato farmers. I have two archers on the sides, the two potato farmers or the potato and carrot farmer. And then um Excuse me. Uh, so I'll have uh, in here, there's enough for nine by nine, 18. So 18 minus six is um, 12. Is that going to work? Is that enough librarians? I don't know. I think I might need more than that. Oh, I actually left a bunch of my wood back there. I do not have a bunch of, uh, um, I have like nothing to trade. <laughs> well, that's not good. I can't take advantage of the, um, the great prices. Oh, well, not a big deal. It's not a big discount. Guess I can get some carrots and potatoes. Actually, do I have? Uh, can I get the paper without leaving town? What do I need? How much paper do I need? Oh, I can trade the fish. Not you. Not you. It's the unbreaking guy. Seventeen. Okay, I think I have seventeen. Paper right now, I might be able to get another 17. Uh, I have exactly 17 paper. All right. And, uh, oh, he's up to level two. Oh, I need him to level three. But, you know, he doesn't have a second book trade anyway, so... That doesn't do me a lot of good. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get to take any advantage to these uh, trades. Oh, you know what I can do while I'm here, while I'm thinking of it?
I can uh, take four of these, because apparently... I forgot to put those in. Yes, these are these are not all the emeralds I have either. I got like quite a few more back at the at my uh, spawn area, so I can get emeralds, sticks, tons of sticks, tons of lots of wood. Uh, it's a very renewable resource, and since I do so much farming, also fish is a renewable resource. For this guy. Uh, except I left that all at the base too. I traded all that stuff. Uh, now prepared. Well, it didn't come over here prepared to do trading. Oh well. It was about a half an hour maybe. Yeah, I don't know why these are not growing. These two grew once, and they haven't grown since. And I tried to put another one down there, and it didn't grow, so I spaced it way out there. But, uh, yeah. And they grew on their own. Oh, well. Let's get some uh, fortune on the carrots. I'm going to refill my water bucket, too. Put my milk buckets back. Oh, no, I actually, uh, I do. I didn't take any milk buckets. I refilled them. Okay. Huh. And uh, I'm not going to have 17 of these. i got to replant this all anyway, so... Three groups of six, so that's 18, so I get a number that's divisible by nine, so I can make paper. Yeah, see, I'm still one short. Get the potatoes and call it a day. Our state is concerned. And then we get to go down to the... Uh, Mine, abandon mine, and uh, get lost. <laughs> Which I want to do. But I'm going to clear out all the rails while I'm down there, so I should be able to know where I've been. I don't know back eight right now. Okay, who's who here? Doesn't matter. You are potatoes. Yes. All right. Oh, darn. Ah, I forgot. That's one of the big reasons for trading was so I could repair my axe. How much would he? 20? 20, 21, what he wanted? I don't know. I already don't remember. 22 is what I got. Right? No, 19 is what he wants. Wait a minute. I got 22. There. Maybe I should do it right. Oh, and once again, I did not do Miz my ass. Why am I, why am I doing that? It repairs pretty fast, obviously. Okay, it's almost prepared now. And put the carrots back in, put the potatoes back in. Let's see if I still get the discount if I leave town. To get, uh, I don't know where it was though. Oh, 
Oh, barely. <laughs> I get scared trying to make that jump. Okay. Oh, I got one here. Good. Good. That'll be that'll be good. Oh, I used up a bunch of arrows down near the end there. Uh, yeah, I might as well grab all this stuff out of here. All I'm thinking about. Oh, I still have here with the village showing. I don't know how far away you have to go, but it does go away. It goes away in time, but also with distance. I'm pretty sure. Based on my experience, unless I am uh, misreading my experience. Oh, yeah, and here's the one I wanted to replace. So, that did me absolutely no good whatsoever. Let's take as direct a route there as I can. Yeah, I think the two villagers I have sequestered there, I'm going to try to just bring them to this other part of town. And um, they are both fishermen, but I should be able to, I should be able to find, I want a, I want a fisherman. Uh, if I ever find a zombie spawner, I want to put a, um, a, um, is that, do I have an exact count? No, off that one. Oh, close. Thirteen is not enough, is it? What do I need? Twenty-seven. Hmm. No. Yep. See, tons of tons of emeralds, and these are just from the raid. So. Let me start putting stuff back in the chest, so I can go ahead and go right to the. Yep, Hero of the Village is gone now. May have wandered too far. Oh, no, it's back. But I don't have enough of anything else to trade. I'm not going to buy a book. Because I don't need any books right now. And uh, I'll save up for other books. I just want to put this paper in here while I'm still thinking of it. All right. And uh, I will go sleep at the mine because that's where I want to be anyway. <laughs> I keep thinking, where's the best place to jump off? Oh, this is a good place to jump off. That wasn't even close. I mean, that by a mile. And again, I'm going to have to get my mule and uh, to carry all this stuff back. But for now, I'll just throw it in this chest. Oh. Excuse me, sir. I got some zombie flesh. Oh, I should use my axe. Ah, I keep forgetting to do what I want to do. Okay, there's all my stuff. Uh, this I want to take back with me. So I'll put it here in a different place. I think I have three milk buckets in each place, something like that. Fortune pick. Okay, that's what I want. All right, and... Uh, Get, rid of it, get this water drop ready. Oh, of course. We. All right, rails. I want to pick up rails and gold. If I find gold, definitely want gold. Hmm. 
But definitely not, uh, definitely not this stuff, because, uh, 1.18, don't mind anything until 1.18 comes out. Oh, I keep forgetting to mention, one of the main things to bring up is that, uh, I am going to be going on hiatus for a week or two when, um, 1.18 first comes out. The series will go on hiatus. I will probably stream something, but I will not be streaming the series until, um, the first patch release comes out. Which, uh, I don't know how long that's going to take. Probably a week or two. I know they've already been working on it. Uh, the Bedrock folks, they don't get to keep developing right up until the last minute like the Java folks seem to feel they have the right to do. <laughs> so the Bedrock folks are already um, working on the patch release. If you want information on what's going on with the Bedrock version, there's lots of people to, to uh, subscribe to. Um, definitely, uh, I recommend uh, Silent Whisperer. He's a great, great resource. Uh, he's part of the Truly Bedrock team, and I kind of know them pretty well. And he's... Um, I'm naming, I'm not trying to name drop or anything, but I, I happen to know he's one of the greatest guys in the entire world. And uh, he's also very technical. You want to know anything, Redstone? The only thing about uh, Silent is he'll show you how to make just about anything you might want to make, but he doesn't really explain it. I wonder if this is all this tuft. I wonder if I got to see if there's a. No, it looks like it's just a bunch of tuft. I want to see if maybe it was leads to the more um, more mine mine uh, uh, vein iron vein. I, I I guess there are no coal. I was hoping for a gold vein, but I don't think there are any gold veins. Just iron and copper. Copper's up higher in granite, in the mountain areas, and then. Um, Iron is down low in um, uh, in the caves. Somewhere around here there were chests. I was hoping to get some powered rails because I don't want to waste my gold. Gold is a precious resource to me. I could use a torch here. And uh, I don't want any more creeper issues. Oh, this looks like an area I've not explored. Is there an upstairs to this? No. Oh, this looks like a definite area I've never explored. All right. You think we'll find another spawner? After that creeper. Oh, we did find another spawner. Oh, oh, for joy. And why is my dirt not in my bar? Oh, wait. That's not completely blocked off. Yes, I have a spawner. Uh, I will probably not do this now because uh, I got a chance of messing it up. Wait a minute. That's a regular spider spawner. That's not even a poison spawner. You see that cobblestone? Oh, I will go mess with it now. And I'll take a picture of it, in fact. Oh, and there's a... Oh, don't tell me it's it's uh, got one of these, too. Oh, if this is a... Uh, that's a spider spawner. I was going to say if it's a... Um, If that was a uh, skeleton spawner, I would be in in heaven. Most valuable spawner is skeleton. Second most is uh, uh, probably zombies. Because how much string do you really need? But okay, yes, yeah, so I have to take a screen capture, and hopefully the screen capture will work. If it doesn't, write it down. Yeah, screenshot said. Okay, let's see what goodies we have in here. All right. Definitely could use the gunpowder for the splash potions and uh, cat. 
golden apple, sharpness, worthless bucket. <laughs> All right. Oh, and here, uh, again, string that I don't really need. Free bread. I can convert that right away. Save some inventory space. And a saddle! That's my lucky day! Yeah, I uh, don't think I need any saddles. Not right now. Move out here. Not here. Here. And fish. And that. And I don't know. I'm so disorganized now. Oh, leads! I can make leads! Because we all know how important leads are. I don't have enough leads. Do you guys remember when it used to be hard to get leads and uh, and uh, all the stuff that you found in dungeons? Remember when it was exciting to find a dungeon? Because you get things like name tags and leads and and uh, sa uh, saddles. Now, like, I should not have been doing this. I should have been doing this on the wall. Uh, now I'm lost here. I don't know which way was which. Oh, that's another way to go that I haven't been. Although this looks like a dead end. Maybe I'll finish. Well, I might as well do the dead end first. I'm going to have to go back because I don't have enough inventory space. Well, I'm so glad I have a spawner now. And these guys are less of a pain to deal with than the uh, other ones. The secret for spider spawners is magma blocks. They cannot climb on magma blocks. That was something that changed within the last two years, actually. It might have been a bug. But they could. I don't think they're ever intended to be able to spawn on magma blocks. but Or climb magma blocks. So yeah, much less of a pain if you got magma blocks. They won't climb up to the ceiling. You can actually do drop shafts and stuff. So okay, I got a, a place for experience. All I have to do is figure out how to get to the surface from here. It actually might not be a bad idea to do that now. <laughs> Just go to the surface. Well, I still have inventory space. Uh, which way is towards spawn? That way, and uh, that way. Okay. The spawn is in this general direction. I think I'm going to do that. It's boring to watch, but uh, I think it's the right thing to do. Can I pick up redstone? I did, so if I find redstone, I can always use it to recharge my... Although, with fortune, yeah, I better not pick up too much of it, or I'm going to have over a stack almost immediately. And uh, I think I heard lava, which may not be good. I'm going to be leaving behind granite or something. Anything else I can combine here? Oh, I was going to eat my bread. Uh, I don't want to give up anything. I don't want to give up the string of the bones or anything. I guess I can give up the string. I can give up the saddle. I need that less than anything. I don't particularly need the, uh, <laughs> the granite either, to be honest. All right. I'm going to end up with... Now i got to make room for gravel anyway. I'll just get rid of it. Gravel is more precious because uh, I can get flint out of gravel. And of course, that's exactly what happened. 
of the diorite. What else can I get rid of? Power 3 bow. When did I get that? Did the skeleton drop that? Skeleton must have dropped that. Um, that's not enough for uh, torches. Oh, inventory management is so awful in this game. I will be coming back this way. Okay, all the blocks can go in here. Blocks. 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 String. <laughs> oh, actually putting blocks in here doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm just going to pick up the blocks. Uh... So I'll put the bow. Um, start miss one. I'll put that in there. That's definitely not important. Bread I will eat. Zombie flesh. Hopefully I won't run into any more zombies. Saddle. I don't need the saddle anytime soon. Music desk I've got to bring back with me. That's critical. <laughs> it's cat. It's the most common music desk. That's how we can end the... Uh, why am I not doing this on the side again? Ugh. Oh, I know why. Because I was picking up gravel. I'm not that far down, so this should not take that long. I may end up uh, in the middle of a waterway which is, I have about a 50-50 chance of that happening. You still got almost an hour to go in the stream. So yeah, I was saying, I uh, Trihardia is going to go on hiatus for a couple weeks until the first patch releases out. I uh, do not expect that to take very long because, like I said, I know that they're working on it already. I could use my fortune pick on uh, this gravel, then I know it'll. Yeah. I do not have a fortune shovel. That's something that's worth getting a fortune shovel and a, even a fortune hoe these days. And uh, a fire aspect sword to for food. So there's other stuff I can spend diamonds on. I am warm now. I was cold earlier. I was I was playing this adventure map and I was not eating and. Uh, my body temperature really got low. Excuse me. And, uh... So now I'm really warm. I put pajamas on and... Why do I need that there? I don't need that there. So I might have to take a break and, uh... I just mute myself for a minute here and take off, uh... Some of the layers I've got on. It's going to be nice 1.18 when you don't have to use this many torches anymore. Although uh, I will always probably over torch because I will not be used to it. And uh, for those of you worried about, oh, spawners aren't going to work right because of the, uh, oh, hmm. yeah, I got wrong. 
Yeah, the concern is, oh, the the um, spawning is going to be, oh, I'm going to, oh, no, I won't have to dig around that. I'll probably have to dig around it, though. Um, monsters will not spawn. Enemy aggressive mobs will not spawn in light levels, even as low as one now. Oh, why am I... This is going to be more than a, a stack. Oh, well. I... It's hard to get coal. It's actually... Coal is a more precious resource. At least in this part, it's 1.17. I uh, usually try to mention this at least once a stream. I'm playing in... This world was created in 1.17. If you're wondering why it's got all these cool caves and stuff, it's because I have the experimental caves and cliffs switch on which uh the only effect really is um the terrain generation at least that's what i thought but then uh i couldn't get axolotls so i'm wondering if uh that's also something that's uh different i mean i know it's something different in 1.18 that might also be something that they put in the terrain now, I don't have three stacks of coal, do I? No. Yeah. Uh, I refuse to dig this and waste. Waste even one piece of that precious uh, copper. I don't know if I'm ever going to use copper. There's almost no uses for it other than decorative. And, uh... I'm not a builder. <laughs> you see, if you've watched the, if you've watched uh, the Let's Play at all, you know I don't spend a lot of time building. I built that starter house, which is going to be a permanent house because all my starter houses are permanent houses. But I'll expand it. I, that's usually what I do anyway. As time goes on, I keep the same house. I just expand it because I like uh, setting up near spawn in general. I mean, I'm not on a realm, so I don't have to worry about other people around. Excuse me a second. I am going to... Oh, I got Hero of the Village again. <laughs> it must be close. Which is good. We'll see where I end up. Yeah, I'm going to uh, mute myself so I can take off some of these layers I'm wearing. And I thought that would be short enough. I didn't need the BRB screen, so no junk cuts for YouTube or anything. I think I'm scratching the microphone a little, though. Sorry about that. Professional streamer right here, folks. <laughs> I've got a contract with Twitch and everything. <laughs> uh... I encourage anyone, if you're interested, to do some streaming. Uh, YouTube, depending on the platform you're on, I'm on Xbox, and YouTube isn't really an option unless I had uh, a capture card or something, but you can stream on Twitch for um, directly from your Xbox. And uh, I definitely recommend trying streaming if you never tried it. It's a lot of fun. Don't expect to make any money. I don't expect to make any money. I was surprised that I made affiliate in the first uh, six months of streaming. But I'm not doing it for that. My goal of making affiliate was so that I could uh, let more people watch. Oh, I hear. I hear an enderman. I've got to be close to the service. I'm at level 65. Yeah, I wanted to be able to make affiliates so that I could do, um, I'm about to break out, I think. That's always cool when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, with until you make affiliate, you're kind of at the mer you are not likely to get um, what's called a transcoder. It's a machine that that one of the advantages of YouTube is even when, when you start streaming, you're oh, are you gonna stay down here? I will gladly relieve you of your pearls. See, this is the problem. When I terraform at the village, I'm going to, um... Oh, wow! That is so beautiful. Well, I knew, of course, that I was near the, uh... The, um... Excuse me, Mr. Enema. Would you like to come here and make a contribution to my pearl collection? Oh, jeez. No! You don't want to contribute to my pearl collection. Oh, and I'm all out of... Ah, well, I'm out of dirt, but that's okay. I'm right here. I can drop stuff off now that I'm here. Uh, want to make arrows while I'm here? There are some chickens around. I got plenty of arrows at home. Or plenty of, uh, well, I do have plenty of arrows, but I also have plenty of, um, what I'm trying, whatever I'm trying to say. Feathers. I got plenty of feathers. All right, so looky there. This is, uh, I guess I can use that same uh, same marker. This is the a direct route down to the spider spawner. Yay, I got another plate, another way of getting experience now besides um, besides um, the uh, fishing, which has been my, I'm still getting the, well, I did get a bunch of wood. I don't need. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can trade some of that. Big salmon. That's why you play bedrock for the big salmon. That's the other person I would recommend following. If you're a bedrock player, another big streamer is uh, IBX Toy Cat. Very funny guy, and another one of those. I have so many of those now, I don't even get excited anymore. It took me forever to get a trident when I first started this world. Now I've got so many of them. He's, uh, I would consider Toy Cat to be a very young guy. <laughs> uh, some of you may not. If you're very young guys, but uh, he's quirky. He's very, very quirky. But he also he always reviews. He reviews seeds. He reviews adventure maps, things from the marketplace. Um, he um, does a lot of streaming. He do, does, uh, and he's like me. He came from well, actually, I came out of the pocket edition world. Um, and then the, initially the pocket edition and then the console edition and then now bedrock, he comes out of the console edition back in 360 days. I didn't start playing console edition until, um, until, um, what I'm trying to say until then. Yeah. What I'm trying to say <laughs> until uh, bedrock version. To drain all my sticks, sure. It'll uh, allow me to um, get more inventory space. Uh, not quite. So I guess I can go back to the mine now. Finish picking up uh, where I left off, collecting. I still have not found any of those chests that I 
initially found, and I don't think I raided the chest when I first, when I first, um, oh, see, that's the place. I gotta mark that with a torch. Remember, that's the place to jump off. When I first came to the, discovered the mine shaft, I, um, found a bunch of chests and they had, have, they had, um, powered rails in them and I never picked them up. A little hydration break there. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do in Minecraft. I'll try Hardy is on break. I will probably make a copy of it and, uh, but see, I don't want to. I don't want to look around. Not on stream. So, sorry about the ice clinking. I just heard it. I suppose, uh, well, I'll put some of this extra stuff in this chest here. Because I know I'll be coming back this way a lot. And, uh, jog. It's lit up well enough. And that torch is out of place and it's going to bug me. The reason you put the torches up high is so that water does not rush down. I've had that happen. I've dug up in the water while I was doing these. So Put them high enough above your head. I really am carrying too much stuff for this kind of I mean I don't need as much stuff as I got here but oh whatever okay so we got this place on lockdown this is uh it's probably why I want to put that I'll see that from a distance I don't know I'm not marking these way I usually do with three torches or uh, two torches on the side to indicate dead end, or three torches in a row to indicate a dead end. How is it that I cannot... I'm following a particular wall, and I can't even get back to that one spot. I was following this right wall, doubling back. There's a spot that... Uh... Aha! There. I've got this marked as go this way. And uh, this way is a dead end, so we can uh, get rid of these torches. <laughs> go this way into, uh, like, the smallest hall imaginable. Is this where the creeper got... I, don't, I do not remember where that initial... Um, That is still my most viewed clip, as you might imagine. No, don't, we don't need this. The clip of the uh, creeper interrupting me while I was... Ah, here we go. No, wait, here we don't go. I'm back to where I started. <laughs> the, uh, I had a cave spider spawner that I was very, very carefully approaching. It was in the early days, and I was still out of practice with everything. And, uh... And a creeper came up and blew up, and I made a clip. Actually, somebody else was watching at the time. Super Logan Utah was watching. This might go up. It does go up! And look what's up there! Iron! And, uh, yeah, that clip's been viewed so many times now. Have I been there? Oh, thank you. I was looking for a way up. <laughs> I have gravel on me? No. I'm sure I have cobble on me I don't need. Actually, mm. 
that would be a better way of doing it. Oh, I've been up here. Do I want, really want andesite on me? No, not really. Wait, have I been this way? Oh, yeah, this is just uh, weird. Well, I've been up there before, which probably means I want to go up there again, because uh, there's a lot of places that I've been that I cannot find. Ah! Oh, getting this timing, come on! And then when you do get the timing, it... Uh, I definitely do not want. Uh, I definitely do not want fence in my inventory. I am making a mess of this. <laughs> All right. Rails. And it says to go this way. But of course, I've already been this way. Oh, maybe I'll use this to mark my way to lava room place. Which I have to get get two. I think pretty sure there was a chest that way. Excuse me a second. Hopefully I'll avoid the ice clinking this time. I did. Well done. Let me open up another soda. Excuse me a second. I um I still, I've been streaming for about seven, uh, not quite seven months, and uh, I still do not quite have the hydration thing down. <laughs> it's a simple concept, you know, drink fluids, but you get going. Oh, I got to have at least a stack of rails right now, right? Oh, I put a bunch away. was all no it wasn't all cleared out i'm trying to follow the right wall even though the right wall is according to this taking me the wrong way well now it's saying this way there's lots of loops in these these uh, areas so i did go into a um ah finally a minecart redstone but no um well i could use the minecart <laughs> no powered rails i thought there were powered rails in these minecarts one of them something to mind out all right this is just where i've been okay I'm kind of trying to follow the right wall, but then I'm getting uh, myself confused. Okay, now I'm back to where I was. Ah, finally, I found this room. Okay, do I want to go this way now? I think this might be a dead end. My sense of direction is getting no better, folks. <laughs> In real life, I have a great sense of direction, I swear. In Minecraft and other, like, 3D shooter games, any kind of virtual 3D space, my sense of direction is horrific. Okay. Since I've got more than a stack... Oh, I got an activator rail, or a detector rail. That won't be helpful, I don't think. Oh, and I have one stick left. <laughs> I need one piece of charcoal, or one piece of coal. One piece of coal. Uh, I'll never find one piece of coal. Not with fortune. Aha. Uh -huh. 
There's some power rails. And of course, it's a slime chunk because it always is. Everything around here is a slime chunk. Oh, and the minecart don't stack either. Oh! Yes. Oh, no! I put a bunch of food in there. Uh, do I really care what's here? Okay, tough blocks. I do not need pumpkin seeds. I've got pumpkin seeds at home, which means I have an infinite number of pumpkin seeds. Uh... But glow berries. Oh, and a name tag. I also have infinite name tags at home. What is all this stuff? Bread? Uh, glow seeds I definitely want. I do not need the other seeds. I think I have beetroot seeds at home too, but these are not. Yeah, I got plenty of beetroot seeds because that's what was in the village. I can't give up this name tag. Do I need to eat anything? No. Only I had a feather. <laughs> what is this? Six andesite. I can pile up six andesite. Oh, wow. Let's do this a little smarter. All right. And, uh, look at that. I want those glow berries. All right, well, you know, I'm going to have to put down a chest anyway, regardless. But I should put it closer to that room, if I can find that room. There. This is where the chest will go, right here. And... I'll keep the wood on me. I want the mine cars. That's one of the main things I want. I don't need the bread, I guess. I don't need the one. Oh, I did not need this. I don't need the one stick. Okay, let's go back and get the other stuff. I gotta remember where it was. I think I did not remember where it was. No, I did not remember where it was. See how easy I can get lost? There it was. And it wasn't this way. <laughs> this way. See what I mean? I will not find my way back. Okay. What did I not need? Pumpkin seeds. I do not need pumpkin seeds. I do not want need one piece of flint. Um, I really probably don't need the glow berries either because I got one back at the place. I think you can grow glow berries. Can you? Uh, I do not need all these torches. Oh, I do not need gravel and cobble. I hear a zombie. Huh, okay. All right. I will see this. And down here, collect more rails. Yeah, I'm going to have plenty of rails. I hear the zombie to my right. It is probably not a zombie spawner. I only hear one. I 
also here is slime, of course. I'm going to end up with close to two stag, a stag and a half of rails, probably. Been this way? Oh, looky there! No, I'm not going to... Not going to uh, attack the blow switch. Oh, that was not smart of me. Ah, I must have done this before <laughs> and left myself that that little perch there. Cause that's cobble. That was me putting it there. Okay, back to following the right wall. Okay, that's oh, that's just where I came back from. Okay, so this is a big loop apparently. Gold! Definitely want gold. Should have made sure of the fortune pick. Yes. I need it for golden apples. Wait, there's more up there? There is more up there. Might be a place I've never been before. Uh, that's a good way to get there. Not the way to do that. All right. Try to be as efficient as I can. That is a dark area. I don't think I've ever been. Oh, I do have uh, torches there. So I must have found this place before. Ah, there's another minecart chest. I think I hear a skeleton. More iron. I always use iron. Oh boy, this place is a lot bigger than I remember. Hello, sir. I really don't need your arrows, but you're in my way. Yeah, there's a lot of places here I did not explore. Yeah, I can... I can pick these up. Let's go see what's in that minecart chest. This uh, is a good place to strip for uh, trading wood. Okay, now I gotta find my way back to the minecart chest. <laughs> Which I passed up. This way? No, it was not this way. But I keep passing that iron. Now I got a zombie over there. Oh, more! More and more and more! Yeah, I'm going to end up with two stacks of rails. This is the kind of thing I usually do off stream, but uh, I really had no plans for today. It's too... Um, It's uh, too late to try to build. Uh... Is this where the mine car was? Yes. 
too late to build, uh, try to wrestle zombies and whatever. Oh, and there's another stair down. It is a dungeon! I think. Let's see what's in here. More glowberries, more books. Uh, well, I will take the stuff that's stackable. What's the book? Projectile Protection 3. I don't need that. Oh, well, I'm going to leave uh, some of this behind. Beetroot seeds. But, uh, I may have found another... Oh, no, it's diorite. I thought it was... Ah! From a distance, it looked like cobble. Well, I definitely have enough uh, resources now. Finding my way out is going to be uh, kind of tricky. I really don't want to leave that iron behind. <laughs> All right. It was down here. It was the way out. There we go. And uh, anything here I can grab. Half of these. Half of this. Cobble is always a good resource for experience, too, because you just cook it up and get experience. I suppose I could grab more than that. Huh? Oh. I do not need one piece of deep slate. I will actually. Put it on the ground. Yeah. Uh, ah. I can put two more torches somewhere. <laughs> oh, I'll forget it. Oh, I go get that iron. That's what I could do. I'll get lost. I'll get lost. I'll get lost. Don't do it. Don't do it, roll cage. You're going to get lost. All right. Now I just have to find my way out of here. If I follow, if I follow torches on the left, I should be able to do that, right? Uh, and then I come here and all the torches are on the wrong side. Okay. Aha! I know where I am now. I just passed uh, home. <laughs> that's where I am. Oh, that is that why the three... Yeah, that's why the three things were here. It's like leading me right to that room. Okay. More or less. I did it again! Oh, this is not the first time I've done that. At least I did it with feather falling this time. Uh, yeah, this is how I discovered, no, actually I discovered the mine shaft after I discovered the ravine. Now, nah. Oh, <laughs> I'm jumping in place. I thought I was in the water bobbing. No, no, I'm just jumping in place. <laughs> Let's see if it's nighttime. No, it's not. Oak wood, don't need that. Gravel, don't need that. All right, oh, wait. Okay. Let me go home with all this stuff. It looks like it's getting night. Or is solidly night. Maybe I want to get a weapon ready. Oh, I just checked and it said it wasn't night. So, ah! Uh... <laughs> this is why you watch, folks. To watch me fumble around and make a fool of myself. Must just be starting night. 
All right. Maybe it would be a good idea if I uh, covered this up. Oh, I had extra dirt on me. That's okay. I need dirt to terraform and stuff. Stack some more dirt. What else can I do? Uh, I'm going home, so what, what will stack? Bones will stack. Milk I'm not taking. That I could use. This is unenchant. I imagine. Anything else that'll stack? This will stack after I drink it. Oh, my music disc. That's the critical thing. And did I eat all my food? No. Oh, I moved that to get the thing. Okay. So let's see. I got to bring the music disc because I got to make a jukebox. Uh, what else? I left friend on that. I guess I'll take this. Oh, oh, I got rails here. I got rails everywhere now. Okay, I got plenty of rails. So, yes, I'll show you the idea. How I'm going to do this. And I may build a lot of it off stream. And then uh, I'll build, do the building off stream. And then I'll try to do the interesting parts like the capturing zombies. And, and uh, actually do the conversion and stuff on stream. Because that's the stuff that can go wrong. And uh, there's nothing like watching me go wrong and having to kill uh, zombie villagers and that sort of thing. Oh boy, I was down there long enough, I can do another trade. Maybe. I'm not picking this up, am I? No, I am not. Ah... Uh, Hmm. Or sticks. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I keep doing it again, forgetting. Tags here, okay. I'm gonna take one of these and mix it with. Oh, I do not need that, that's for sure. I can make sticks out of that, and just the right number of sticks, too. Wait, I got my axe, okay, that's what I want. And I'll put the emeralds away. And uh, I guess I can take this back. Oh, gotta go pick up that. There we go. I rather like. I'm rather proud of this uh, terrorist. Uh, um, steps of uh, sugar cane. Oh, my kitty cat's here. Did you have food left? You didn't leave a little bit of food. Mm-hmm. All right, do I have, uh, I think I need 27 without the hero because I no longer have the hero. Thirty-one. Okay. And that's you. Twenty-four. All right. 
and uh, I do not need to repair my my uh, fish. All right. So yes, here's how this is going to work. I am going to. I'll probably do this in both places. I might back this up. I don't think I'm going to need to back it up. In my test, I did not need to back it up, but we'll see. Um, these four, maybe just two, but probably more likely than not, these four um, blocks will come out, and I will replace them with trapdoors. Do I have any trapdoors in here? No, I do not. Oh, wait, are those trapdoors? No, brown carpet. Hmm. So, uh, yes, I will replace those with trapdoors, and also on the other side... Which, if we go out there now, I often hold my food because it's the least dangerous to, like, accidentally hitting the wrong button. And then back here, and I will need to expand this at least one position, back here also, I will put trapdoors here and here, and the trapdoors will be, I'll place it on the ground, flip up, and place it on a block in front of this flip down and so then these where these areas are here will be where the zombies will store and i'll have a powered rail there and there and then regular rails that come around the corner here and here and uh, i'll need to go one farther so i will definitely need to expand this um and then what i will do is take the rails here actually if i could do it here that would be great Maybe I will do it there, because I'm going to break that rail anyway. So I will do it here. Um, and the idea... Actually, I don't think the zombies ever collect here, but the zombies do collect here. They sense the villagers. And so if I run the rail around here and put another like block and a powered rail and you know a button or a lever, um, zombies will come up here. All I, have to, I won't have to wait long at night. Zombie will come up here sensing the villager. And uh, then I will toss him a leather cap, and if he picks it up, uh, I will know he's someone that I will want to keep. And if he doesn't pick it up, and then the same thing over here, of course. If he does not pick it up, then uh, I will kill him and uh, wait until I get one that does pick it up. Because that will be an easy way for me to, if the sun is starting to come up, and I toss him the leather cap, he won't get burned, even though he'll be under here anyway. Um, but he won't be over here protected. Yeah, he will be protected. So anyway, and then they'll come in here and they will sit on rail carts on top of the powered rails. Um, and then I'll break this rail and put the trap doors, as I said. I can put the top trap doors and flip them down. They'll just go right through them. And then the zombies will be sitting there. And then what I will do is I will want to do this while my villager population is still fairly low. Excuse me a second. While my population is low, I can uh, wait until they go to sleep, and then I can wake one of them up, throw down a boat, um, so that way I can capture just one, and then I can row them through here, because uh, I believe I can row them through here with a fence. I might have to replace this with fence gates, but I know I can go through it. Um, and then... Um, the one thing is, if I go through too close to that wall, they might get whacked once, but uh, that's okay. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll boat them up right to the, where the, um, um, yeah, where this stuff is, where the trapdoors are going to be, and they're going to be against the wall, and then I'll come out here, and I'll flip the trapdoors up, uh, or down, I'll flip two of the trap doors down. If I need to, I'll flip those up. And then uh, the villager in the boat will get zombified. He'll leap out of his boat, but he won't be able to get me. Even if he stands on the boat right here, he's not able to clear that. I, I verified that. Or he doesn't try, anyway. And so then I'll have a zombie villager there. And then I'll have in here all the supplies I need to de-zombify him. And uh, I'll throw the stuff at him. And uh, once he de-zombifies, I will... Uh, Go wait until he goes back in the boat and do it again. 
two or three times until his price goes down to the minimum. And uh, then, uh, see, so if they're sleeping, I can just wake one of them up. And, uh, well, I wouldn't do it that way. I would wake him up trying to interact with him. And he'll get up, and then I'll be able to throw down the boat and get him in. And then there is room here now because there isn't a whole bunch of beds and things here. So I want to do this now uh, while there is room because eventually there will be beds all along here. There will be workstations all along here, and there won't be a two-by-two -two area where I can really put this down. But once I get these all zombified, then any new ones I want to breed, I'll do what I did before, open this up. Um, so that the babies will walk in there. I will put the boats down so the babies will immediately come in here. Um, and then I can, uh, put down the workstations right over here. I probably have to remove this to make it easier. Um, but I'll put down a workstation and check it. And if he doesn't have the trade I want, break it, put down another workstation, check it, etc. So right in this area is where I will set their trades. Once I get a trade I want, I'll trade with them to lock it into place, which is very important because if you zombify them before you lock the trade into place, it will not stick. Um, and then I can zombify them, and uh, then I can break the workstation since I've already locked them into place, put it where I want it, like another librarian. I'll put it there, and uh, then I'll go through the whole process again, healing them as many times as I need to until he is... Um, this is not supposed to be here, but it's supposed to be in here. So that's how it works, and it should go very smoothly. Um, I tried this in a in another world, in an experimental world, and uh, it worked very smoothly. It took a long time to work out how it's going to work well, but... Then those zombies will just sit there, and every time I create a new guy, I'll uh, be able to do that. And then once I get all the traders that I want here, I can put the crops back in and uh, create a, a different system where instead I'll have a drop here, and when the baby villagers run over, they'll go down the drop and then cart them off away from the village so that more will spawn, etc., etc., etc. So, And I can also put beds underneath this place. Uh, to make sure there's enough beds. And what will happen is eventually, actually before I get this place even completely filled up, because I do have other villagers in here, um, what will happen is I'll start getting iron golems spawn. And right now, I don't really want the iron golems to spawn. So as soon as one spawns, they should spawn near this bell. I think the center of the village might be somewhere else. Um... But this is, by default, the center of the village, and the village is first created, the meeting point. That may have changed, depending on what beds I broke and replaced, etc. But uh, I'll just, wherever the, wherever the iron golem is, I'll build, build a pit for him, put trap doors over it or something, give him one whack so that he runs after me, he goes down the pit, and um, throws the trap doors, and he'll just sit there, because they will not create another iron golem if one is there, until they get enough villagers and things to have two of them. And I'll just leave them down there until I decide what I want to, where I want to build the iron farm. The iron farm will probably not be here in this village. It will probably be somewhere closer to my spawn, although since I have the experiment, the, uh, the XP farm over here now, who knows? Maybe I will do that. I don't know. We'll figure out what I do. But for now, this is such a cool raid village, I don't want to turn it into an iron golem farm. A villager breeder, a raid farm, an iron golem farm, I suppose I could think, figure out a way to make all of those happen here, but... I don't know, I may eventually need to expand this, because I'm thinking now, I'm not sure that I'm going to have enough room for all the villagers I want. I miscounted. I uh, only have nine here, I don't have a place for eleven. I thought it was 11, but I wasn't thinking that I can't put a workstation right there because they will go off of the workstation and actually be able to find their way onto this ladder and off over it. I discovered that when I started. But uh, I guess I could do 10 because there's no reason to not put one over there. Hmm. 
I could move this guy back there. Oh, but I don't want to do that because it'll block off the way around for the babies to quickly want to run over here. So I might have to expand this. Maybe I'll expand in the front. I don't know. Expand it by a couple. Um, or expand a one on each side. That would make the most sense because then everything's still centered. But uh, so right now what I would have is there's nine and I was thinking four, 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 and four. But if I have these guys on the ends, then it's actually only three, 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 and three, which is 12. Um, and 12 might be enough. I wrote down all the books I want. 12 might be enough because I don't need any bow enchantments because I get so many enchanted bows fishing. I've just been disenchanting them and throwing them out, to be honest. Anyway, let me go back to town and then wrap this up. I might as well go back to town because it's midday. And I got lots of stuff on me. And uh, then Monday, if uh, things go well, I'll do some work over the weekend. If things go well on Monday, I'll try to zombify some villagers. That will be the main thing on the agenda. And then, uh, then I'll go on hiatus for a week or two. Or this series will go on hiatus for a week or two until the... Um, anything else I can grab here? Sure. Um, I will zombify some villagers on Monday and uh, go on hiatus for a week or two. And uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Now this guy I'm going to eventually have to off, but I don't have room right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. And then uh, soon, once the first patch release comes out, I will uh, go in and test the world. And uh, just to make sure it all loads and everything. And uh, then we can explore the great beyond. And the first place I want to explore is that right there. I, I, some of it is obviously already rendered in. Um, but uh, the mountain is cool, so I want to keep it. But uh, it's like a plateau mountain. But most of that is already rendered in. But who knows what will hap what will be on the back side of it. I don't want to go up it and wander around because it's really off my map. But I know there will at least be this cliff, and then we'll see how the blending works. The uh, algorithm they have changed from this, uh, excuse me, this experimental version. So, um, um, yeah, there will be some terrain blending there. So it might be awkward. It might go up and then look kind of weird at the top i've actually done a i've seen how they've done the blending and it's actually done a great job but then we'll go on from there the series will continue in actual 1.18 not 1.17 with 1.18 experimental terrain generation and i'm having a great time I definitely am having a great time. I'm enjoying this world an awful lot. I was so upset with this world when I first loaded because the first thing that this world did is killed me because they spawned me right here and I was underwater and they killed me before I could even get out of the water. <laughs> it was so annoying. But, um... Yeah, tomorrow or when I get back on, I'll probably uh, sharpen my sword or sharpen my axe over here. I'll show you the... I don't know if I've shown this on camera yet. Have I shown this on camera yet? Um, this is my tree nursery. And I've got all the kinds of trees except for azalea. And guess what? I have azalea now. Oh, did everything grow? Oh, it looks like... Uh, oh, it looks like everything grew. Nice. I only have one big jungle tree. Or no, I have two. They both grew. Awesome. So, uh, Acacia, I will get rid of some of this birch. I'll redraw these lines. Get rid of some of the birch and uh, Acacia. Well, Acacia will probably be back here. Maybe in this corner. I don't know. I only have three, um, which I got off of a trader. 
But that should be enough. Acacia, usually get lucky enough with acacia leaves. And I'll use my fortune. Oh, that's I was gonna show that. It's gonna it's gonna be dark. It's gonna be dark. Anyway, right out here. And this is close to the edge of the map. But right out here is a uh, deep deeper ocean. And uh down here is a llama, because of course there is. Um, but it's right across from here. There you see the shipwreck, and uh, there's the, believe it or not, that is a uh, ocean ruin. So it's very close. I got to make sure I do not swim all the way, otherwise the dolphins might swim and then get trapped. And I, I took all these trees down to get apples. <laughs> Some of them have grown back. I have mushroom and sea pickle farm here. This is a bone meal farm. But actually, if the mushrooms grow from um, Podzel, they actually can grow on lit grass, which is odd. But uh, makes sense, I guess, because that's how it is in regular terrain generation. So me and rabbits are gonna are gonna take off. We're gonna sleep. I'll see what he gets me. Does he get me another rabbit part? No, chicken this time. Okay, well, and I can't pick it up because of course I can't. But uh, there you go, rabbits. Me and rabbits are gonna sign off. I appreciate everyone watching today. I, uh, I think Song just signed on, so I will turn you over to her, and uh, I don't know what she's playing, but uh, I think she's playing something. Uh, yes, there's a song it's playing, Stone Valley, that's what she usually plays on Fridays. So I will go rate her, for those of you watching on Twitch, if you miss anything on Twitch, you can always go to my YouTube channel and catch replays there, you can uh, go to my Twitch page. Look at the about section for a direct link, or you can go to, uh, you can type exclamation point YouTube and chat, whether I'm online or not, or you can uh, just go to YouTube, search for Roll Case TV, look for the same racing cat profile picture, the yellow shocked racing cat. If you are watching on Twitch, I'm sorry, if you are watching on YouTube, you want to catch the show live sometime, it, uh, it uh, can be kind of fun, or you can watch the VOD or watch the clips or whatever. Um, find links to my Twitch channel in my YouTube profile in the description of every video, or uh, again, just look for Rollcase TV on Twitch and uh, look at look for the same yellow racing cap profile picture I have on YouTube. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me today, folks. I uh, I had a lot of fun today. I hope uh, you did too. And uh, I'm going to turn you over to, over to song here in a minute if you're watching live. I hope you have a good evening, good morning, good whenever till I see you again. And wherever you are going, on the road or in life, as I always say, please be sure to enjoy the drive. All right, folks, I am out of here. Have a great weekend.